Dirty Cop Robert Mueller becomes laughing stock as second Trump staffer drops truth bomb. Dirty Cop Robert Mueller's neck is on the line as details of his own involvement in the Clinton Uranium One Russia scandal emerge, and he is trying desperately to fabricate charges against President Donald Trump's election campaign staff. However, there's just one problem. A second campaign staffer who was dragged in for interrogation has just dropped a truth bomb that has made Mueller the laughing stock of the country, proving it's time to pull the plug on special counsel Mueller. According to Daily Caller, George Papadopoulos, a low-level intern who Trump recently called a proven liar, was brought over to the campaign team from Ben Carson's camp by another staffer named Sam Clovis who reportedly met with special counsel and professional witch hunter Robert Mueller last week after being summoned to testify before a federal grand jury. According to NBC News, Clovis served as the campaign's co-chairman and top policy advisor. Mueller's team of liberal henchmen sneered Papadopoulos for lying to the FBI, then coerced him to help in their quest for non-existent evidence on Russian collusion. A federal court recently unsealed documents showing that Papadopoulos accepted a plea deal in October 2017. The shocking part is that Papadopoulos didn't have to lie about anything. He lied to the FBI about his interactions with three people who claimed to have links to the Russian government. This has become a giant nothing burger, and as Americans watch the Mueller circus roll on, we are getting even more pissed off about it. Now. Clovis attorney has released a statement on behalf of her client that is quite embarrassing for dirty cop Mueller and his team. After Mueller targeted email exchanges between Clovis and Papadopoulos in his statement of offense for prosecution, Clovis and his attorney had no choice but to drop a truth bomb which has Mueller looking like an idiot. Mueller alleges that Clovis encouraged Papadopoulos to set up off-the-record meetings with Russian officials. Mueller's team also claims that Papadopoulos accused Clovis of saying that a core policy focus for the Trump campaign was improving relations between the U.S. and Russia. There still is no crime here, other than Papadopoulos lying to the FBI. Democrats are jumping up and down in a Maxine Waters-like fashion, screaming that this all amounts to collusion. We can't really take them seriously anymore because of irritating little things called facts. Liberals are also screaming for Clovis to be disqualified from serving as the top dog at the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Now, here's the truth bomb. Victoria Tonsing, Clovis' attorney, has released a statement emphatically denying that Clovis ever encouraged Papadopoulos to meet with Russians or that he said Trump's campaign was focused on improving relations with Russia. First of all, even if Clovis did say that relations with Russia should be improved upon, I failed to see a crime there or any evidence of collusion. But, remember, Mueller has to save his own butt somehow, and this is the best he can come up with. When Assistant Attorney General Rod Rosenstein approached Mueller to take the special counsel position, Mueller should have just done the smart thing and walked away. He was in bed with the Clinton crime family, Barack Obama's corrupt former administration, and deep state political operatives within our intelligence community. Mueller and his team submitted a statement of offense that alleges Clovis told Papadopoulos in an August 15, 2016, email that he would encourage an off-the-record meeting with Russian officials. Tonsing said that her client never told Papadopoulos to meet with Russian officials and that the suggestion in his August 15 email was not serious. Dr. Clovis never told Mr. Papadopoulos that a principal foreign policy focus of the campaign was an improved U.S. relationship with Russia because that was not Dr. Clovis' view of the Trump campaign's foreign policy priorities, Tonsing said in a statement. Inside the campaign, Dr. Clovis always vigorously opposed any Russian trip for Donald Trump or staff. Included in the statement of offense submitted by Mueller's team was an acknowledgement that Papadopoulos' proposed meeting never occurred. So, why was Papadopoulos offered a plea deal? The crime committed in this situation was his alone. He lied to the FBI when he didn't have to, and he should be sent to prison for it. Why must Mueller insist on wasting any more of the American people's valuable time or tax dollars? Because his worthless hide is on the line. That's why many, including White House Chief of Staff John Kelly, 
have publicly called on and even scolded Attorney General Jeff Sessions for doing nothing about the mountain of evidence which could put Hillary Clinton and her co-conspirators away for years. Sessions is the key. He is the only person standing in the way of justice, and his refusal to fire Mueller continues to grow resentment among American patriots. It's time for Mueller and Sessions to hit the road, the road.